Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today for Family Friday I decided I should probably update you guys on what's going on with my grandmother. I know I made a video last week on Tuesday letting you guys know that I was in New Jersey visiting my grandmother because she had a stroke and was in the ICU and then I kind of just jumped back into our normal video schedule and didn't actually update you guys so I figured what better day than Family Friday to do so. So if you didn't see that video, um, I was in New Jersey because my grandmother was found unresponsive in her bathroom by my grandfather and was rushed to the hospital. She was then taken up to ICU. She was put on a breathing machine and um, wasn't responding. She couldn't open her eyes. She just was unresponsive. So we weren't really sure what happened. Um, they ran a, they ran a bunch of tests on her and everything came back normal so they had no idea what was going on. That they actually sent her for an MRI to see if she had suffered a stroke. The results came back that she did suffer a stroke. It was a massive stroke. It started in the bottom of her brain which from what I heard is one of the worst kinds of strokes that you can have and they weren't sure what was going to happen after that. It was basically a time will tell situation. I spent the week in New Jersey and I got to see my grandmother actually start to respond and she started to get better. By Wednesday, I want to say, maybe Thursday, they removed the breathing tube from her and she was able to breathe on her own. She was still having assistance with some oxygen, just a little um, oxygen that they attach to your nose, but nothing down through her mouth into her throat. Um, unfortunately, from the breathing machine, her tongue was very cut up and she was in pain and they had to give her some medication to try to heal her tongue. My grandmother suffers from tremors. Um, it is. It looks like it's what you would see with someone that suffers from Parkinson's disease, where their head shakes, their hands shake, Basically, they just shake. And um, But my grandmother was tested for Parkinson's and it came back ne negative, so it is just tremors. And that she's, she has been being treated for that, but it is something that she has been suffering with for some years now. And when they were, t she took her, they took her off the breathing tube and everything. Um, she was responding. She will shake her hand. She would lift it. She would, um, her mouth was moving. She was making some noise out of her mouth, but she couldn't talk, obviously. So it wasn't until I think the third day that she, she opened her eyes and she actually looked at you. So, um, by Friday when I left, she would leave her eyes open pretty long and she would Actually, when I was leaving, she turned her head, she looked at me um, for quite a while, and then she smiled at me when I told her that I love her and that I just want her to get better so that she could come home and we could talk. And it was very emotional for me. It was very hard for me to leave, but as you know, I have two children that have to be here for school. It's their responsibility, it is my responsibility, and it's not something I can ignore. Um, so, I did have to come home. Now, I've been getting all of my updates from my mom. My mom goes to the hospital to visit my grandmother and gets all the information and just passes it along to me. When I was there, they did give my grandmother a feeding tube through her nose just so that they could get some food into her. I think it was day three from her being there. Um, I got there on Saturday evening, and my grandmother actually went into the hospital at 2 a.m. on Saturday morning. So I got there pretty quickly. The rest of my family also showed up. That's one thing about my family. We're very close. So I have a cousin that lives in Florida, one that lives in Texas, one that lives in Pennsylvania, and we were all in New Jersey and we all just made it there. We had family fly in from Puerto Rico. So um, we were all there praying and just even if we were just in the waiting room at the hospital because they only allowed two people in at a time, we made sure there was always someone with her unless she really needed to sleep. And we were in the waiting room just hoping for a lot of improvement. And I, I feel like the prayers worked um, to the sense where she was taken off that breathing, breathing machine. She was also um, 
it, taken off of all oxygen. She breathes completely on her own. She does open her eyes. She will hold your hands. You can ask her questions. You can ask her, squeeze my hand if you know you know who I am, and she'll squeeze your hand. She also nods her head and shakes her head, so she is responding. Now, unfortunately, the day before I left on Thursday, they gave her a CAT scan, and they found that she still has blood on her brain, which could be very dangerous. Um, her brain is also a little bit swelled. Um, I don't want to get emotional, but so um, they're they're not sure what the prognosis is going to be. But all of, all they're saying right now is that she's just going to have to go through therapy to be able to move her um, right side. So her right side is the side that she can't move. She does have sensation in that side because if you touch the bottom of her foot, she will like jolt it. And, um, she does open her eyes and that side at the very least. So I feel optimistic. Um, my grandmother's a fighter. She's always been a fighter. Um, we are a family of women fighters and I think that she might that she can defy all odds. But of course, there's always that little piece of me that's super scared that I'm gonna lose her and I'm not ready for that. So, um, as of yesterday, my mom told me that they did give my grandmother surgery. They put a um, port in through her belly so that she could receive food, um, tube feeding so she could receive tube feeding because she although she can swallow she cannot close her mouth or really um eat any solids right now so they're going to give her tube feeding She's she is out of the icu and in progressive care now and they did do another scan and saw no improvement on the bleeding or swelling of her brain so that is always like a dark cloud over everything but they're going to go ahead and move her on and give her the therapy that she needs and see if she just starts to get better from there. After the hospital, she will be taken to a rehab center where they will give her the therapy that she needs and everything before she would be able to go home. Once she does go home, she will need 24 hour care. My grandmother has a long road ahead of her, but I am still praying and keeping optimistic. I get a little emotional knowing that it is Mother's Day on Sunday and that I won't be able to call her and talk to her like I do every year, but I know that she's well taken care of and that she always has someone there with her and I know that she knows I love her and that I would do anything and everything I can for her. So I'm just trying to be optimistic and just know that God knows what he's doing and he has a plan for everything and just keeping my faith in God. So that is the update on my grandmother. I'm trying not to be emotional. Like I said, she has gotten much better from since Saturday when I got there, but she still has a long road ahead of her. So I would appreciate everybody's prayers if you do pray or just thoughts, vibes, whatever you put out into this earth for my grandmother. I have been praying hard for her and I'm hoping that everything just turns out well. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you for our Family Friday today. I'm sorry it was kind of a downer, but at least it was a little positive in that my grandmother is improving. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you guys always for all of your support and good thoughts. I really appreciate you guys. You don't know how much having all of this support on YouTube means to me, and um, I will be forever grateful. Thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. The thing that motherhood has taught me is that you will be that mom. You know, the mom I'm talking about, the one you see at the store.